but because of his bipolar condition, that's when he should have been stopped. I'm driving down this way. He's like, you know what? I've come to realize I'm Jesus Christ and I can do anything I want to. This homeless man named Kai was a hitchhiker, a passenger in a car driven by 54-year-old Jet McBride of Tacoma. Kai says McBride was yelling racial epithets when he rammed his car into the legs of an African-American utility worker, pinning the worker up against his own truck. Watch this. Bam! And he smashed into this guy right there, pinned him in between that truck. At first, eyewitnesses thought it was an accident. They tried to help, and they say Jet McBride turned on them, too. He gets in his car and tries to move the car in that, and we weren't going to let him do it. If you start driving that car around again, man, there would have been a hell of a lot of bodies around here. When he put me in a bear hug and started beating the crap out of me, for what reason, we still don't know. Police say Kai pulled out a hatchet and knocked McBride out cold. These two women are trying to help him. He runs up and he grabs one of them, man. Like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick. So ran up behind him with a hatchet. Smash, smash, smash. McBride was first reported <laughs> missing on January 28th in Tacoma. The next day, McBride used his ATM card in Ellensburg. Police there searched for him. But McBride was soon picked up by police in Moses Lake when he was delusional, claiming to be Jesus Christ. Within hours, McBride was released from the Grand County Mental Health Facility, free to drive to California. And we've been trying to make calls to Grand County all night trying to figure out why McBride was released. We're told that he's charged with attempted murder, and sources tell me he's been attacked in the Fresno County Jail. They also tell me that he may have been under the influence of marijuana laced with PCP, which would have made his bipolar condition far worse.